Thanks, Mike. Uh, I would also like to bring to the podium Representative Mike Gallagher. Uh, I'll just be very brief. Uh, I'm here today just because uh, primarily I appreciate the spirit in which um, uh, both Dan and, and Mike and, and members like Jan have uh, uh, tackled this. Here you have members with immense experience trying to tackle a very complicated topic and identify and forge a principled path forward. One that goes beyond talking points or political gamesmanship, but puts the interests of our country ahead of their own narrow parochial and political interests. And quite frankly, we need more of that in, in Congress. Um, I, the plan that, that uh, Mike Garcia has come out with and the questions he's asking are incredibly thoughtful and I hope every member reads it and I hope that that's a starting point for our path forward on Ukraine. And the work that Dan has done on the border similarly is incredibly thoughtful. And I was dismayed when I got the letter associated with the supplemental request where the administration is accusing in their section requesting more money for the border, accusing House Republicans of playing politics with this issue on the border. That's not a productive starting point for a good faith negotiation. I would argue non-enforcement of the law and a refusal to understand the ways in which we need to reform law, like our silent provisions, is the definition of playing politics. So I want to thank Dan and Mike for their leadership. I chair the Select Committee on China. Uh, my preoccupation is with cross-strait deterrence uh, in the Indo-Pacific. My mission in Congress is to prevent a war with China, which would be horrific. And I think in order to do that, we need to understand why we are where we are geopolitically. I would submit to you that deterrence failed in Ukraine because we abandoned hard power. We relied solely on soft power and the vague threat of sanctions to deter. And when dealing with a dictator like Vladimir Putin, that simply is not going to work. So we need to learn those lessons and not only find the path forward on Ukraine and on the border, but apply those lessons in other theaters. And quite frankly, this should be a wake up call to rebuild our entire uh, arsenal of deterrence. We've just neglected it for far too long. So again, I want to thank Dan and Mike for their leadership. Uh, we need more of it. They're essential voices in Congress. And your comment about the defense appropriation, Mike, makes me think that as we uh, think about a supplemental request, we should also pass the thing that one might want to supplement, which is a defense appropriation in the first place. And it's important that we don't hold that hostage for other political priorities or to score points in an election year. So with that, I'll stop talking. Thank you both.